hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute pot holder and what you're gonna need is you'll need two kinds of yarn the white one and uh, another color or any other color that you want and also I use this crochet hook which is 2.75 millimeters and for my yarn I used acrylic yarn but I would recommend the cotton yarn if you're going to use on um, something that is hot but also you can use this one as a decor piece okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the yellow color and first we're going to start with the magic ring okay so we're going to do the magic ring and then uh, we're going to do 18 single crochet in the magic ring so we do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 15 16 17 and 18 okay and then after that I'm just going to pull my yarn to close the gap okay so after that now uh, we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch And then we're going to start making the little petals now okay so here we are going to start by making a chain 25 so we're going to do chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, and then after you're done with the chain 25, in the same stitch where you slip stitch, we are going again to slip stitch. okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so we're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two and then repeat again and do a uh, chain 25 so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And then again, you're going to come back here where you started. And in the same stitch where you did the previous single crochet, you're going to slip stitch over there okay and then after that we're going to repeat again and do two single crochet so one and two and then do again chain 25 one two three four okay so you do chain 25 and repeat the same process again all the way around until you get here where you started okay so after you do the last pedal over here we have uh, two single crochets left here so you're going to do single crochet 
and then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then do a chain one okay so now we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight eight petals okay so now we're going to begin um on the next step okay so in the next step we we have a total of 25 stitches over here in each petal so we're going to do single crochet in the next 12 stitches over here okay so we're going to count and do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so after the 12 single crochets, in our 13th stitch, it's gonna be our middle stitch over here. So in that stitch, we are going to do three single crochet in the same stitch. So we're going to do single crochet, one, and then again in the same stitch, two and another one single crochet three okay so that's a total of three single crochet in the same stitch and then over here we're going to do 12 single crochets okay so do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, and twelve here in our last stitch. Okay. So after that here in the middle stitch where we did two single crochets you're going to do single crochet over here in the middle so one single crochet and then we are going to start again by doing 12 single crochets up so we're going to do single crochet so it's a little bit tight Okay, so single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay and then in the 13th stitch which is the center stitch we are going to do just like the way we did here so we're going to do three single crochets in the same stitch so we're going to do single crochet one another single crochet two 
and another single crochet three okay and then again you're going to do 12 single crochets down and a single crochet over here and then you're going to repeat the same process all the way around until you come back here where we begin okay so when you get here at the end we're just going to do a single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch where we started over here okay and then after that i'm going to change into the other yarn so i'm going to use the white yarn so this one i'm using a uh, double yarn because it's a small yarn and the other one was medium so i'm just going to take this one and put it over here like that okay and then i'm going to do a chain one okay so now we're going to start the next row and uh the next row is quite easy actually from the next row which is row four until row eight we are going to do the same thing over and over again okay so we're going to start into the next stitch of the pedal where we started and we're going to do single crochet all the way up so you don't have to count the stitches over here because you just know so we're going to do single crochet all the way until we reach here at the middle okay so single crochet single crochet Okay, so when you get here in the middle stitch, we are going to do three single crochet in the same stitch. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to continue doing our single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, so when you get here also you're going to do again single crochet in every stitch all the way okay so continue until you get here at the middle again okay so when you get to the middle stitch you're going to do three single crochets in the same stitch so single crochet one two and three okay so you're going to continue with the same pattern all the way around until you get here again where we started okay and then uh, remember to do three single crochet over here in every middle stitch okay so guys when you're done with that row this is how it should look like okay so don't worry it's gonna form shape as you continue so for the next row uh, we're going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and then do a chain one and then we're going to repeat the same process as the previous row so that's what we're gonna repeat until we finish the whole thing pretty much so it's uh, really simple so we're going to continue and do our single crochets all the way Okay, single crochet. 
okay so when you get here at the center stitch again you're going to do three single crochets in the same stitch so you're going to do single crochet one two and three okay and then again we're going to continue by doing single crochet all the way around and then when you get here at the center you do three single crochet okay so it's pretty much the same thing so repeat the same pattern all the way around until you get here where you started and um, now you're going to repeat the same pattern for the next four rows okay so I'll see you when you're done with the four rows so that I show you how to join all all the petals together Okay, so guys, after you're done with the four rows, this is how uh, our dishwasher should look like. So you're going to arrange them uh, with the petals looking like this all the way around, as you can see, the way I've arranged mine. So now we're going to attach all the leaves together. And what we're going to do is uh, over here where we left off, we are going to count from here seven stitches. So you're going to count one two three four five six and here on the seventh stitch is where we're going to join so i'm just going to place a marker over here okay and then on the other uh leaf also we are going to count seven stitches so we're going to count one two three four five six and here on the seventh stitch you're going to place a marker also okay so like that so here from where we left off we are going to slip stitch until we get here okay so I'm going to slip stitch all the way up Okay, and then one last slip stitch okay so when I get here I'm going to go into this stitch the next stitch over here like that so I'm going to remove my marker and remove over here and then I'm going to go into the next stitch also remove my marker and then I'm going to slip stitch like that okay so like that and then after that we are going to do single crochet going up here so we're going to do single crochet and then single crochet single crochet single okay and then when we get here at the middle stitch we are going to do three single crochet like the way we did before so we're going to do single crochet one two three okay and then going down we are going to count uh six single crochet and on the seventh stitch we are going to join the other one okay so we're going to do to count single crochet one two three four five six and then we're going to join on the seventh stitch so we're going to come onto the next petal and count one two three four five 
six and here on the seventh stitch is where we're going to join so make sure your yarn is on the other side for convenience so one two three four five six and here on the seventh stitch just going to slip stitch like that and then I'm going to continue again with my single crochet Okay, and then when you get at the center stitch you're going to do three single crochets so one two and three okay and then down once we're going to count six single crochet and then join on the seventh one so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and then put my yarn on the other side and on the seventh one we're going to count one two three four five six or one two three four five six here on the seventh one so i'm going to put my crochet over here on the other side and then i'm going to slip stitch on both okay and then we're going to continue again with our single crochets and then three single crochets three single crochets in the middle stitch so one two and three okay so you're going to continue like that on the same with the same pattern all the way around until you get here at the end and then i'll show you how to finish off okay so guys after you finish joining uh together this is how our little pot holder should look like as you can see in both parts okay so now uh for finishing up what i'm going to do is i'm going to change into the yellow yarn this one uh, that i used before so i'm just going to cut this yarn over here okay and then i'm going to take my other yarn and then i'm going to pull it through like that okay and then after that now in the stitch where i joined i'm just going to do a single crochet okay and then i'm going to continue and do single crochet all the way around And then when I get here at the middle, I'm just going to do three single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to continue doing my single crochets. Okay, so make sure you do a single crochet even here where we joined and continue okay and then when I get here at the center again I'm going to do three single crochets so one two and three and then i'm going to continue and do single crochets okay so you're going to continue like that all the way around until you get here where you started okay so guys after we get to the end this is how our little pot holder looks like 
So when you're done with that, now we're going to make the handle over here. So we're just going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch. And slip. Okay, so we're going to continue and slip stitch all the way through. Okay, and until we get it around here and then you're going to make a chain long enough as long as you want so I'm gonna make a little chain over here so I'm not going to count the number of, of chains that I want uh because i'm just gonna measure it with my eyes so you can do the same according to the size that you want i think mine is enough I'm, i don't want a long one so i'm just going to come onto this other side at around the same point and then i'm going to slip stitch Okay, so after I slip stitch, I'm going to make a chain one and cut off my yarn. Okay, so after that, guys, you can do the finishing of cutting the yarn and all this other on this other side. Okay, and then uh, you can enjoy using your dish cloth. Okay, so I know it seems complicated, but it's really easy as you saw. It's easy to make this dish cloth. Okay, I hope you enjoy the pattern. Please check out my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye.